Hi, my name is Mrs. Kathy. This is part two of our flute tutorials for K5Tunes.com at Covina Valley Unified Schools. I hope that you practiced with just your mouthpiece so that you are starting to get a really good sound coming out of the flute. Today we're going to be looking at putting the flute together and the very first note. So you notice that I have the flute case on the table and I'm going to be opening it up and today we're going to be looking at putting together the three parts. We talked last time about the flute mouthpiece. We want to take the body section, which is the longest section, and gently twist and push the mouthpiece into the body. Now you notice that I didn't just push. If you just try to push that, it's not going to really work very well to try to get it on. Um, the flute is very, very delicate and the end of the mouthpiece actually can bend a little bit if you try to just force it in. So I'm being careful to not hold onto the, the um, pads of the keys very much. I'm just trying to avoid touching those and very gently pushing and twisting until the mouthpiece hole is aligned with the notes that are on the body. Then I want to take the foot joint, the third portion, and I want to do the same thing, avoiding really pressing down on the keys while I'm pushing and twisting. And while I push and twist, I want to make sure that this rod on the foot joint is lined up with the keys on the body. So once again, we have the head joint, the hole is lined up with the keys. The keys then are lined up with the rod that's on the foot joint. So now we have our entire flute put together and you notice that I'm holding the flute with my left hand under and my right hand over. Left hand under, right hand over. You might want to practice that several times. So one good way to practice is to actually put your flute down very gently on your lap, take your hands away, pick up your flute, and see if you can do it naturally. Left hand under, right hand over. Left hand under, right hand over. We want to go ahead and try that one more time. Pick it up, left hand under, right hand over. And remember that my flute is in the direction of going to the right of my body not to the left, but to the right. Now, our first note that we're going to learn is D. And D actually has several keys that we need to press down. We're going to get a close-up of my fingers of pressing down on those particular keys. But we want to make sure that our left hand is under again and our right hand is over. And we want to do our thumb, leaving our first finger up, second, third, one, two, three, and leaving our pinky up. So if you want to think about it in terms of what we have up instead of what we have down, we have first finger, pinky, and pinky. First finger, pinky, and pinky. Then as we blow, we want to make sure that we're not sitting like this. We want to be sitting tall and blow the same way that we were blowing before, where we're finding just the right place and blowing. If you overblow, it'll sound a little bit like this. If you underblow or blow in the wrong place, you won't get any sound. So what you want to do is aim for just that right place on the hole in the mouthpiece rolling your flute a little bit if you need to, making sure that your fingers are down in the right spot, and blow. Once again, seeing if you can blow for, and keep a sound for four seconds. Instead of just letting all your air escape at the same time. So this has been the note D on the flute. Remember that we want to have left hand under, right hand over. We want to have first finger, pinky, and pinky not touching any notes, not pressing down on any notes. 
Thank you. This has been K5Tunes.com.